Hello, hello, hello. I believe we are live and in living color. Hello, my name is Austin, and I'm going to walk you through how to promote ClickBank products with Facebook ads. Before we get going, I just want to introduce who I am, what I do, and how I can help you. As I mentioned, my name is Austin Godbolt, and I create content to help you start generating passive income with affiliate marketing in just one hour per day. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification because I actually upload videos every single day. In fact, I am going to upload videos for the next... I think it's 96 or 95 days. So definitely uh, ring the bell, follow, and do all of that good stuff. Today, I am going to talk to you about ClickFunnels and running ads with Facebook. Now, I want to kind of set the stage here. Facebook can be tricky for affiliate marketers. There's some things that you absolutely can have to do, and there's some things that you cannot do. Facebook gets particularly tricky when you're talking about the health, wealth niches. And even relationships can be a little bit funny as well. You can be an affiliate for different products um, in those niches, but it can be tricky. And I want to make sure that you are aware of that before you're jumping in. It is very easy, believe it or not, to get your account suspended or banned. But what I want to do is, now that we have set the stage here, I want to show you step by step how I start running ads. Um, I've actually ran ads, I think as far back as maybe maybe seven or eight months ago. In the affiliate marketing niche so it is possible but you have to be kind of kind of careful uh, because there's some some trip wires there if you have uh, if you say something like make money can be tricky uh, if you say you know if you guarantee results can be tricky um, so be very careful know that going forward what we're going to do today is we're going to pick an affiliate product over on Clickbank Clickbank is a marketplace that we can go to to promote different products and services uh, then we're actually going to have to create a landing page. Now, I personally like, use, and recommend ClickFunnels for my landing pages, and there'll actually be a link to a two-week free trial to use if you'd like, but you could use a free landing page, essentially, uh, like Wix, WordPress.com, or even possibly a, a Google Sheet or a Google Slide. Um, so now that we have set the framework, let's go ahead and get right into it. As you know, or you may not know, if you're brand new to affiliate marketing or, affiliate, or, or this channel, basically what affiliate marketing is, is you're recommending other people's products and services. Actually, one last thing before I start with that. Um, I do have a free book in the description. If you go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash free hyphen ebook, um, you'll learn a little bit more about affiliate marketing step by step. Also, I've started a podcast. You can check that out on alstongodbolt.com. That's going to be a little bit more intimate, a little bit more personable. I'm trying to, I talk a little bit, actually, I talk a lot about my story and what helped me get to where I am with affiliate marketing and recommending different products and services. Also, too, on that podcast, I talk about survey sites and my feelings and thoughts, how I actually started making my first few dollars online. And I actually go over a lot of the trial and error that I've gone through so that you can kind of skip that step. And finally, if you want to know how I started generating passive income every single day, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start. Now that we have that out the way, let's go ahead and get started with affiliate marketing ClickBank. Affiliate marketing is basically recommending other people's products and services. For example, as I mentioned, health, wealth, relationships are the biggest niches. People want to lose weight, they want to make more money, they want to have a strong relationship. As an affiliate, you are going out and finding products that will help solve someone else's problem, and when they click on your affiliate link and they buy the product, you get paid a commission. Affiliate marketing is awesome because there's no drop shipping, you don't have to worry about returns. There's, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel about affiliate marketing and some of those benefits, so I don't want to get you bogged down and waste your time. Um, the next thing that we need to talk about is ClickFunnels, or excuse me, the next thing we need to talk about is ClickBank. Now, ClickBank is an affiliate marketplace that you can go to and find products and services to promote. The great thing about ClickBank is it's free, 100% free. You just need to go to clickbank.com and sign up. The sign up process probably takes about five or 10 minutes, 15 at the most, but you can promote all sorts of prop, uh, all sorts of products. What you're seeing here is the uh, is the affiliate marketplace. This is the place that you can go to to find different products and services to promote. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a product to promote. Why don't we just click the search bar? The search bar is going to return with a number of different products and services that you can promote, and they're actually going to be sorted by popularity. So people have had success promoting or recommending these products. What we're going to do, is just to make our lives a little bit easier, we're gonna steer away from health, wealth, and relationships. 
again, it can get very tricky when it comes to when it comes to promoting with Facebook and um, those four niches, those three niches. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to Ted's Woodworking. Now, I've had success promoting this Ted's Woodworking uh, program before, so I know that it works on Facebook. You can promote this product, and you shouldn't have any issues. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up the sales page, and we're going to also open up the affiliate page. Now, the affiliate page is going to give us a number of tools and resources that we can use to promote this product. It's also going to tell us how much we can earn up to per sale, the commission structure, in this case, it's 75%, and the earnings per click, which is $2. If we scroll down a little bit more, what I'm looking for are keywords. It talks a little bit more about the main offer and upsells and downsells. Uh, we can possibly use this image if we wanted to. If we scroll down a little bit more, um, a good affiliate program or a good affiliate, a good vendor will have keywords that we can target if we were using a uh, pay-per-click. They actually have a target demographic, so people that um, are most likely going to buy the product and actually some interest that they have as well. So if we scroll down here, and I just, I'm gonna click already signed up at the bottom of the page here. Come on. Um, and this is exactly what I'm looking for. If I jump to demographics and Facebook, this is basically laid out everything that we need to know. On this page, it tells us that the demographic, 85% of their buyers are male. Their range is, um, so the target countries are United States, United Kingdom, Canada. The range is between 30 to 65. And the interests are woodworking, DIY, home and garden survival, off-grid. We are going to use this information to actually build out our Facebook ad. So what we're going to want to do is we can go ahead and start creating our ad. I'm just gonna slide this over here. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them out there because I'd be happy to answer them. What you need to do is you need to Google Facebook Ads Manager. And then once you click, once you Google Facebook Ads Manager, click on this first link here, it'll take you to the Facebook Ads Manager. If you don't already have an account, you have to create a free account. It's actually gonna be based on a Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page, it'll walk you through the steps of creating a Facebook page as well. What many people recommend that you do is create multiple pages and have multiple ad accounts and sub accounts because it's very likely that your Facebook, uh, your Facebook account will get banned. So there are a ton of videos on the internet on how to do that. I don't want to bore you with that. I want to get to the meat of this situation, which is actually creating a successful campaign so that we can start making money. So we have looked at the affiliate page for Ted's Woodworking. So we're comfortable with that. The next step is to look at the sales page. This is the page that's going that we're going to send our traffic to after they go to a landing page. So the way that if you're thinking about this, the way that this is set up is we're going to run a Facebook ad. Someone clicks on our link in the Facebook ad, they're going to get taken to a bridge page or a landing page. That landing page can collect their email addresses. I actually recommend that, but it doesn't have to. You can pre-frame them using some of the terminology that you see on your screen, and I'll actually show you how to do that in just a moment. Once they click on a button or once they enter in their email address and click go, they're going to be taken to the sales page. And on the sales page, it's job to sell the product essentially. So now that we have the step-by-step -step process taken care of, let's go ahead and let's start some of the, the, the back end, some of the more difficult stuff, which is essentially the Facebook component of it. So what we're going to do is jump over to our Facebook. We've already gone ahead and we've created a... Uh, ads manager we've created a Facebook page if we needed to and simply what we're going to do is we're just going to click on create and when you click on create here on the left hand side that is going to bring up a uh, campaign objective now what we want to do is we want conversions um, if your your objective can change but as an affiliate I want conversions I want people that are going to buy their product. They're going to click on my link, they're going to buy the product, and then we can go to the next step. So now that I click continue, it's going to take me to the next page, which is going to give me the ability to kind of fine grain, um, fine, fine grain my ad. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave all of this the same. We're going to leave uh, the, the buying type as auction, objective conversions, which we already set up. Uh, we're not going to worry about A-B tests. We'll be doing that in a different way. Um, campaign budget optimization. The cool thing with Facebook, and I was actually kind of surprised with this, is you can actually set this up 
to run as low as five dollars per day ten dollars per day and that's actually the recommended way to go just until you figure out what works you, the worst thing you could do is you could run this campaign for a hundred dollars per day and it flops it fails it doesn't work so what i'd recommend is you start off with something low like five dollars per day and if you start getting conversions things are things are looking up and you could consider tweaking and actually increasing your campaign budget so now that we have taken care of essentially the the campaign the campaign aspect let's move on to the ad set so i'm just going to click next here at the bottom right of the screen we click now we're on to the new ad sets. Now the interesting thing is the way that this, bro this is broken down is you can only work on one campaign at a time. But within that one campaign, you can have multiple ad sets. And then within the ad sets, you can actually have multiple ads. So it can be kind of confusing and people like to think of it as like a filing system. So the new campaign is the file cabinet. The ad set is maybe like a file or a folder and then the ads are the actual like individual pieces of paper if you think about it like that um, so now that we're here one other thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to set up your Facebook pixel and the great thing is is Facebook will actually walk you through how to do that once you do that we're going to set up a event now what we want to do is we want to look for lead we can either do lead or view content either one um, but for our purposes, we're just going to do lead because we want to capture their email addresses. So if we scroll down, we're not going to worry about this yellow one here. I know that it works. We have the option to create dynamic creative. Uh, basically, that allows you to enter in all of your uh, images, all of your text, and then let Facebook figure it out. I personally haven't had success with that, so I'm not going to do it. If we scroll down here we can actually set the budget and schedule. Another thing that I recommend is you actually start it on the next whole day. So start it, if I were creating this campaign today, I would start it on July 8th at 1201. So that really gives Facebook the opportunity to optimize and find people throughout the day. If you start it now, you can, but really it's going to try and hurry up and find people to create impressions so that they can take the money so that they can charge you for it um, it may not reach the best people and you might see your conversion suffer at least for that first day so if you can i recommend that you wait till the next day i know that when you cre first create a ad you kind of get excited and you want want to hurry up and go you can set it up that it does not end i recommend always doing like five days just to test to see if it's working or not all right so now that we're here this is where we get to the exciting part believe it or not we do get to the exciting part we want to target people based on what ted's woodworking has told us if we jump back over here we know that Ted Wood, Ted's Woodworking says that it works best in the United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia. So we have two options. We could create a ad set where we're just targeting the United States and then creating a separate one for Canada and then another one for Australia. We could do that or we could target all of them at one time. For the purposes of this video, why don't we just target all of them at one time? I mean, again, um, to a, a better process to see which one's working which one isn't working is to target these countries individually so i'm just going to type in canada so that you see how it works c-a-n-a-d-a -A -A, canada and then as you can see what happens and i'm just going to slide this over so that you can see this a little bit um it's really small but um when you change anything it also it, it adjust the audience size so adding canada change my reach from just the united states up to uh, 260 million people hopefully you can see that now i kind of increased it, the screen dramatically and it's pretty pretty big anyway now that we've added canada let's go down and adjust the age range so that we know because of ted's woodworking it works better with older audiences. If I bring this up, where did my thing go here? Uh, let's see. If we bring this up, it says right here, it works best for ages 30 to 65. Now you could target outside that range, but you wanna give yourself the best opportunity to be successful. So we're gonna do 30, as it said, and then we're just gonna do to like 64. All right, so when we made that change, it narrowed it down from 260 million people down to 150 million people. And then the next thing that we want to do is simply just to change it to men because 85% of their buyers are men. While we do want 
female buyers, most likely it's going to be men. Uh, if we wanted to, we can do detailed targeting. We have more options here. We want to target people in, that speak English and continue on. And then what I like to do, and this is probably going to vary depending on the, on the product you're promoting, is I like to do manual placements. Did I miss something here? Let me see. Let me make sure I didn't scroll past it. Let's click on detail targeting. Ah, there we go. Detail targeting. I, one of the most important things that uh, we need to talk about is detail targeting. So again, Ted's Woodworking tells us who we should be targeting. And if you're testing and you want to figure out what's working the best, you want to target these interests, as you see on your screen, individually. In the past, I've made the mistake of putting in all of these interests at one time. And the reason why that's a mistake is you don't know which ones are working. You don't know which ones are getting clicks and getting buys. And so you're kind of just guessing. If you have the time, energy, and patience, I recommend that you create new ad sets for at least three, four, or five of these different interests. What we're going to do is we're just going to target, we're going to target woodworking for now. We can always come back and change that. So under interest, we are going to paste in woodworking. And as you can see, woodworking and interest, that pairs it down to, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. It pairs it down to 66 million people, which is still fairly broad, but it's a lot better than the 260 million people that we started off with before. What we could do too, is we can actually exclude or narrow people in our audience. So I've done this before as well. This actually helps us find the exact right people and it can actually help lower our costs. So if we wanted to, we could do um, we could do people that are interested in woodworking and maybe survival. Uh, so let's see if we can find survival here. Let's narrow this audience. And right now it's at 66 million people. Let's see what happens when we type in survival. So that's an interest. That's going to go from 66 million people all the way down to 7 million, almost 8 million people. So that's better. That helps us figure out exactly who's interested and why. Um, so if we scroll down, personally, again, what I like to do, uh, and we're talking about manual placements here, um, what I like to do is I like to target people that are on Facebook only. So I uncheck Messenger. Instagram and audience network. I only want people that are on Facebook and they're on the Facebook news feed. Uh, I have tried the right column. I haven't had success with that. You may find different, but for me, what works best is when I target people that are on the news feed. I'll uncheck stories. I'll uncheck in stream. Um, I'll uncheck all of this other stuff, messages in article. I'll uncheck it all because I only want people that are going to be scrolling the news feed. So now that I've done that, that brought it all the way down to 6 million people. If we keep going, uh, we've got conversions, cost control, all of that good stuff. Now we're just going to jump to the next section. And this is where we're going to add in our ad information. We're actually going to put in a link to our landing page and all of that good stuff. So what we could do is we could give this a new title. Uh, let's title it, um, we'll call it first one ad, and we'll call this woodworking because uh, that's the interest that we're using, woodworking, and I think I did survival, and survival. And then all of this up here, the identity, this is the Facebook page that it's linked to. If we scroll down a little bit, this is where we actually enter in the ad that, we, um, that we've created. Now, personally, if I'm being perfectly honest and transparent with you, I don't feel like my ad copy is very good. So what I have done is I've used this site called Dropkick Ads. With Dropkick Ads, you can actually create, they'll create Facebook ads for you. I think you pay like 60 bucks and you can pay a little bit more to have ad copy written for you. You can have images created for you as well. And I've had some pretty good success with it. I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna take a look at Dropkick Ads. But personally for me, this is the, the way that has been most successful. Anyway, if we jump back and continue on, you can also try, uh, I think there's people on Udemy that do it, but uh, I've had good turnaround, I've had nice success, and the, good, the, good, the other good thing with Dropkick ads is they'll actually tell you, they'll create like interests. So um, I know that when I've done affiliate marketing, they've come up with 10 interests for me to target. 
for example, like um, uh, Think and Grow Rich, which is a book, and some of the other places or, or interest people that would have when they want to make money online and start getting passive income. So again, ch check out Dropkick Ads. Uh, there is a link in the description for it. All right, so let's jump back over to Facebook. So now when it says single image or video, this is where you can actually upload your image or video. Obviously, if we scroll down here, you just simply click add media. And if we go add image, these are some of the images that I've used in the past. And what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you add the image and then just check and make sure that you're comfortable. And as you can see, these are some of the images that I've used in the past. Make sure that you're comfortable with the placement of the image. Sometimes Facebook will try and just put something in there and it won't look right. Uh, so let me just do the this battery one real quick. What I would do is make sure it looks okay um, and then click continue. The next step obviously is to add in your primary text. So you wanna make sure that you're saying things that are congruent to the sales page. What we should do is we should jump over to the sales page and see what it's saying and try and interweave some of the terminology. The other thing that you can do too is you can borrow some of the email copy that's provided for you uh, by, the, by, the, by the vendor. Again, you need to be very careful about making promises, about making guarantees. You wanna make sure that you are writing engaging copy without promising the world. Because if you promise the world, if you promise the moon, you promise the stars, you are going to get banned from Facebook, um, Facebook ads. So again, you're just going to wanna to try and catch their eye. You wanna try and stop them in their, in their tracks. Um, if you just put stop, um, we can put stop, stop um, making boring projects. Or you could say something like, um, I bet you stopped, you stopped enjoying woodworking when you kept making the same boring project. So you want to make sure that you're creating something that's engaging, that's getting your customer's attention. And as you can see where I put stop making boring projects, that shows up at the top. That's the first thing your potential customer is going to see when they're scrolling. And so then if you want, you can add in additional, um, headline text. We'll say, um, 16 thousand plans at your fingertips because Ted's woodworking plans has a ton of different uh, woodworking plans obviously so we put 16,000 plans at your fingertips if you look here on the right it that's our headline and if we wanted to we can add a description but I won't bore you with that down here is where we need to add in our link to our landing page now we haven't created a landing page yet uh, but that's something that we can do really quickly. As I mentioned, I like use and recommend ClickFunnels. For me, ClickFunnels works pretty fast. Um, there is a tiny learning curve to it. So if you're brand new with ClickFunnels, it probably will take you maybe an hour or two to get up and running. But if you wanted to, you could simply go to, um, once you're in ClickFunnels, you just click on Funnels. And once you get there, I'm actually going to see if I have a funnel already set up for Ted Ted's woodworking um, it does not I do not see mine actually I might uh, uh, let's do here no let's see woodworking let's type in woodworking all right here we go so I have this one for Ted's woodworking I believe this is the one I use when I ran the 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 Ted's wood Ted's woodworking Facebook ad so now that we're here, I'm just going to click on edit page and it's going to allow me to open this page and make changes. Now, when you're working with click funnels, um, come on. Now, when you're working with click funnels and yeah, this is the one I believe that I used. Now, what I did was I actually found an image of basically wood on the internet and I set it as my background. What I did was I kind of just took information or, or words or, or verbiage right from the landing page and I pasted it right in here. So if we go over to my landing page and I got to find it again. Um, let's see, Ted's Woodworking. There we go. So 
If I jump over to the landing page, as you can see, announcing the world's largest collection of 16,000 woodworking plans, I put top woodworking expert reveals how to find 16,000 projects with step-by-step -step plans. If you scroll through this sales page, you will find, actually right there, make 16,000 projects with step-by-step -step plans, even if you don't have a large workshop or expensive tools. This is the exact landing page, and I can even put this in the description if that's something that you're interested in. This is the exact landing page that I used. Now, a couple things that I did, I believe that I did, is first I sent them to a email list. I collected their email address, and I, I sent them to... Um, I sent them to an email list because I know that I would follow up with them every day. The thing that most new affiliate marketers get frustrated with is most people don't buy right away. You can see the value in a product, and this goes for any product that you're promoting. Most people won't buy right away. You'll need to follow up with them frequently in order to get them to become a buyer. Um, I know that when I first started affiliate marketing, that was a frustration that I had when I would get people to my landing page. Oh, I see the value of this product, but why doesn't the person that I'm promoting this to? The other thing that you can do too, which is really cool with, with ClickFunnels, is after you collect their email address, you can directly send them to that sales page. And to do that, you go to settings, go to general, and then up here at the top, I don't know if you can see that at all, try and uh, slide this over, but when the person clicks the button to submit, they automatically go over to my landing page, or excuse me, they automatically go over to the Ted's Woodworking sales page, and then the video will start, and hopefully you get a sale or two. But what I recommend is set up the follow-up emails, and the Ted's Woodworking vendor has already given us some emails that we could use. We could always find more or write our, write our own uh, to potentially start making money. So what I wanna do is I wanna show you what this looks like. So if I just click on preview, as you can see here, it looks like it looks like some wood that somebody would be manipulating. And it just says, Top Woodworking Expert Reveals How to Find 16,000 Projects with Step-by-Step -step Plans. Now, this is all going to be congruent with my ad, my landing page, and then the sales page. You want people to see common words. Common words, um, important words. For this one is 16,000 Projects. Woodworking, these are words that are common and important and relevant. So once I enter in my email address, and I'm just going to enter in one here, it's going to automatically take me over to that sales page that we had looked at before. That's the sales page. What we need to do is we need to exit out. And if you'd like, uh, the, I have a ton of videos on how to create landing pages for affiliate marketing. So I, again, I don't want to waste a lot of your time on, on things I already have videos on. But what we need to do is we basically need to copy this URL this is the URL for the landing page of our um, to, to collect the email. And then we just need to put it back into our Facebook manager. So we just need to paste that here. And that should work. And then once we get done, our tracking cookies already set up. We would just need to click publish. Now, what I would recommend that you do instead is instead of just doing one ad based on, on one interest and one image, and one um, ad copy, I'd recommend that you go in and you do, you would do another ad set. You can even duplicate this one. So if we wanted to, we could just simply go to duplicate. It would duplicate our ad set. And when we duplicate the ad set, we're just gonna change the interest. We wanna keep everything else the same. And maybe this time we wanna not do woodworking, we could just do home and garden. And so I'm just gonna copy in home and garden. Again, I got this from the affiliate page I'm just gonna scroll down here eventually get to uh, where are we here so we just want to edit this we would edit this here click edit and for interest I'm gonna delete these two come on I'm gonna delete these two and then I'm going to paste in my home and garden now the great thing is is all of this is falling under the campaign we just created so I'm gonna click on interest and this has 918 million people and if we wanted to if we look at our um, if we look if we go to our ad it has the exact same it has the exact same ad copy and image that we had before what I recommend that you do is again you can duplicate 
Uh, you can duplicate ad sets. You can duplicate the actual ad itself. You should do that. This is testing. This is trial and error. With affiliate marketing and marketing in general and sales, there you most likely won't get it right on the first time. And that's okay. You are testing. You are trying to figure out what's going to work for you and your audience. Because once you figure this out, you can scale it to $10 a day and $20 a day. And you can kind of print money, but you have to do the testing first. If everybody knew the exact right way to do it, everybody would do that right way. And you basically just do this over and over again. I would test it for five days, see what your cost per click is, see what your cost per lead is, and rinse and repeat. And just keep doing this until you're successful. Um, it does require some upfront money. Obviously, this is, these are paid ads. But if you take your time and you, you fine-tune your ad copy and you fine-tune your images and you're patient with your interests, you can be successful with um, affiliate marketing on the Facebook pages. Also, it's very important that you are very careful about um, about what you're saying. You you don't want to run the risk of getting your accounts banned. I have had those emails where all of my 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 ads were running fine for three days, and then all of a sudden, I get a notification that my um, ads have been stopped. They're no longer uh, working, and I'm. I'm banned. What you have to do is you have to reach out to them. You have to kind of play nice and ask what's going on. Why why are my ads banned and how can I get it reversed? If you play nice um, and, and if you're respectful, you can usually get them reversed maybe the first couple times. Um, if we look, I do have I do have a few of them that are that are blocked, but um, I've I've got this one that's up and running. Now, one thing that usually happens is your your ad is is banned not because you've done something wrong. It's usually because someone came across the ad and they're disgruntled for whatever reason. Maybe they don't like the ad. Maybe they've seen this type of ad one too many times. Maybe they don't like you or whatever, and they flag it as spam. If they flag it as spam, that's when your ads will get shut down. But again, you can always just go back and you you can request a reapproval. Usually they'll do that. But, I mean, that's basically it. You find a high-quality product over on ClickBank. They tell you which they, they a high high quality product over on clickbank will tell you what the target market is they'll tell you the um who's buying it so the gender the all of the demographics the age ethnicity um countries and all of that good stuff and, and one trick that i've done and i don't know if i should share this one thing that i've done to target certain ethnicities because you can't necessarily do that directly on facebook is to target by culture for example if I want to target a super uh, a group of people, I may target the African American culture, because most of those people are going to be African American. Again, I don't know if I should say that, but here we are. Um, but that's one way to kind of get around and, and target the exact group of people that you're looking for. Um, if you want to know how I start generating passive income every single day, click the first link in the description to go to AustinGodbolt.com forward slash start. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them out there. Um, because this is really it. You can do this. You want to make sure that you're setting up your Facebook pixel first. You want to make sure that you are, um, one thing that other people recommend is that you kind, they call it warming up your ad account or warming up your Facebook page. Now, the way that you warm up your accounts is twofold. One, you put up images, quotes, um, things of that nature. Put that for free in your Facebook page. It shows Google that you're not a, excuse me, it shows Facebook that you're not a scammer or a spammer. You are there to provide quality content. If you do that for a week or two, that is usually a long enough time or good enough time to quote unquote warm up your Facebook page. Another thing that you can do is you can run a likes campaign to your, your page. Um, you can run a likes campaign for like a dollar a day and get a ton of people. It, you don't have to do that, but it, it goes a long way to show Facebook that, again, you're not a scammer. You're not trying to spam people. You're really trying to solve other people's problems. Uh, but again, if you guys have questions, feel free to throw them out, regardless if you're on the replay um, or if you're on the live chat. I'd be happy to answer those questions for you. Believe it or not, it is very easy to get up and running with Facebook and Facebook ads. You just want to be very careful. And unfortunately, there I haven't found... A list of words or phrases that are banned by Facebook most likely because they don't want you to know those words because 
everyone would just not say those words or they would find words that are similar but you know aren't in direct violation um, the other thing i want you to take a look at is as i mentioned if you are struggling you're not very good with uh, with ad copy if you're not confident in the ad copy you can use a service like dropkick ads and you can actually create ad copy for 59.99 so if i click this here and there is a link in the description for it um, if you click this, you can get for $59.99 ad copy. Um, it's catered to your order. You just kind of fill out a questionnaire. They'll ask you what you're selling or promoting. Um, they'll actually come up with a step-by-step -step guide. And actually, you know what? Why don't I show you that? Just so that you can see you can see what you would be receiving. All right, so here is one that I had done for Traffic Secrets. Traffic Secrets is a book by Russell Brunson. It's free plus shipping, and they will actually take care of all of this for you. Um, this is the ad. They're telling me exactly where to put it, and then they actually show me the detailed targeting, uh, web traffic, pay-per-click, and all of that good stuff. What I recommend here is that you actually do the interest individually, and then what you can do is you can just copy and click, uh, copy and paste. So again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to throw them out. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell notification. If you have any questions about running Facebook ads, or if you have questions about affiliate marketing and making money online in general. If you don't have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and hop off for the night. You guys have a great night, and I hope you have a very happy Monday. Thank you, and take care.